bottom line here, what we're looking at is just, it's showing this whole project just keeps opening up potential, keeps, keeps getting better and better and, and showing just the target size. It's really opening up the potential. <laughs> Jim McDonald, Brittany Silver, good morning to you, my friend. How are you? Yeah, good morning, Andy. I'm uh, good. Very good. How are you? You must, I'm doing really good. You must be in a great mood. I want to hear all about it. You're looking, I think you dressed up for me, or you dressed up for the news. Tell me about uh, it. Yeah, everything. <laughs> so you had some drill results that just hit the wire about two hours ago. Thank you for the scoop. And uh, yeah, tell me all about it. Yeah, so just more more of the same, really. Uh, these holes are out of uh, three different structures. F vein, which is the historically worked vein, and I vein, which is uh, something that's very lightly drilled in. And then a structure we call preciosa, which is has never been drilled yet. And had some, shows some really excellent promise. Uh, Bottom line here, what we're looking at is just, it's showing this whole project just keeps opening up potential, keeps, keeps getting better and better and, and showing just the target size. It's really opening up the potential. So we've been focusing on the 20,000 meters of drilling that we're just completing that we started last year has been heavily focused on one structure called D. So these three structures are all different all different structures. Um, and two of them are real exploration holes. The F, the F vein was more of an infill on the historic vein, showed excellent high grade um, uh, hit there within a real broad medium grade zone and indicating you know, strong, uh, you know, uh, well, strong continuity, which we knew already, but it, it uh, adds to that and shows the gray potential is really excellent on the F vein. Then the other two are exploratory. The, the I vein, we've had a few holes in before, getting some really interesting strong alteration there. It doesn't look like anything else in the property. So I think it's leading us into something that might be really important and, and good. Um, plus we're hitting some real high grades across that structure into the keto, keto and a half over narrow intervals and, and high grade over decent intervals too, of three, uh, four meter kind of intervals. Then the third structure it does, it, you know, on, on values we hit are not high, but it's really important because we're seeing a zonation on this property because we barely have the veins exposed. And with the elevation change, if you're too high in elevation, you don't see any silver, or you, can, you can drill your structure and you won't get any silver. You got to get down to a level of a certain level, 1,750 meters above sea level or more in general across the property. So you see this real clear zonation in places where at surface you might have literally no silver. But then you drill down a little bit and you get a little bit silver and a little bit more, and it increases. You really see that on the D vein where we're getting those massive hits like. Uh, 9.7 meters is 1,700 grams per ton. You go to surface, you might have five grams above that, 200 meters higher. So this Preciosa was the first, we, we mapped this structure. It had brechian, veining at surface, and no silver. So we need to test this to see if it's following the pattern we see on like the D vein. And sure enough, at surface, we got oh, the one section less than one gram silver, nothing about 80 meters or 100 meters deeper, uh, 55 grams. Another 80 meters deeper, 75 grams. So it's opening up just like the D vein. So really great. Like that, it's following the model we see across the property elsewhere. And it tells us, well, you know what? Another 100 meters down, you might be into that kilo, kilo and a half type material. Great. So it really interesting project because of that because it, it's basically hidden it's barely exposed at surface you got all this potential even where structures don't look interesting at surface they actually are when you drill them
Okay, so I'm going to wish you a very premature congratulations here, number one. Number two is you've already answered my question, but I'm going to ask it anyways. It seems to me this is going to be very similar to what you have with a lot of silver. You just need to go a little bit deeper. On that structure, Preciosa, yes, I think so. And, and follow it along straight. Sometimes these zones bump up a little higher. But so that, I mean, we, we got to follow this direction and then we got to go deeper. So, yeah, we were pretty optimistic on that structure. Already it's demonstrated no silver, a little bit of grade, a little bit more grade. And the next round might be into that real high grade sweet spot. Okay, so I'm going to talk to my listeners and viewers here. Jim's being way too careful just as an investor <laughs> that I am talking. This looks very, very good to me. This, These are not Jim's words. This is not an endorsement by any means, but uh, he's being very careful on what he says. Jim, to me, to you, um, that is very encouraging. It's the wrong word. <laughs> Sounds great. I it's so, pretty exciting. Yeah, it is great. So well, well, well done. So, okay, so let's move me forward here. So some great news hitting today. Uh, I think is great news. Uh, what's the plan? Take me over through the um, the next, uh, maybe to the end of March uh, into the spring. What do you, uh, what does that look like? Yeah, so we're still drilling and we've basically completed the 20,000 meters, but we're continuing drilling. Uh, because we haven't even touched the edges or found the limits of that of that huge mineralized chute on D vein, so we have. Uh, let me see. We probably have uh, close to a dozen holes in process right now, and I think all of those are out of the D vein. So that's yet to come. So we're going to see that at least into the mid-March third week. And we've also got a drill going around, uh, putting some holes in some of these targets that we don't have anything in. And we'll be going back to that Preciosa and going deeper. So watch out for that. we got big, big hopes for that. So deeper is the key word if this is all consistent with uh, everything that you have right now. So... Uh... Investors, me talking to investors here, you need to really pay attention uh, to the these interviews here because Jim will come on as soon as the news hits. But also, if you want to leg up on the interviews, he's going to put out the press release first, and then I'll have him on as soon as the press release comes out. But just pay attention to the wire, and uh, you'll be uh, up to speed on the breaking news as we see this project progress nicely. Jim, anything you want to uh, leave our viewers and listeners with? And um, yeah, anything else you want to add? Well, yeah. besides these great results, we keep, keep hitting and hitting. We're getting spoiled at Columbia, I got to say. And on top of all that, I think we're on the, on the cusp of silver finally breaking out and making its major move. I really do. I would agree with you. It seems like everything, um, the highs are getting higher and the lows are getting low, uh, higher and everything is speeding up, if you would. Yeah. The fundamentals are aligning with the technicals. What I mean technicals is the chart patterns. Um, mm -hmm. And then you have the whole geopolitical issues that we won't go into. But um, yeah, it's really, really aligning for all those people that have waited patiently for this move. And I, I do not think you're going to be disappointed. So. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Jim. Uh, always a pleasure. Uh, full disclosure, uh, Kidney Silver has become a sponsor of the site. I'm very grateful to Kidney Silver. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Jim. I'm looking forward to working Welcome. with you. I, uh, for all of our listeners and investors, um, and Jim doesn't know this, I am not an investor yet, but I talked to my portfolio manager as of yesterday. Uh, we are looking to accumulate Kootenai Silver. So just so everybody knows and it's out there, I am not an investor yet, but that will more than likely be changing within the next 24 to 48 hours. Great. All right. Welcome thank you, forward. Jim. Yeah, looking forward to working with you. Thank you so much. Have a great day and let's keep in touch. Yeah. Thanks, Andy.